Hi, I'm Robert Blecko with the Rapaho location for Landmark. We're going to talk about the adjustments on the right hand side of the 70 series combine. So this is where we will change the feed accelerator speed uh, belt from high speed to low speed. And here on the inside is the adjustment gauge for the belt. We want to adjust this washer down to the step on the gauge and if it gets above the uh, tip of the gauge we want to adjust that back down to keep it within proper tension. We also have an adjustment for a belt up here. It's got the same gauge. We want to make sure it's that washer is to the bottom of that for that second step. There's also one here for the uh, rear discharge beater drive. There's also another belt adjustment in here for the right hand shoe drive and fan drive. The tailings auger chain up here we just adjust with this slide pillow block until the chain is properly tensioned. On the adjustment for the tailings auger, we want to make sure that we get a little bit of movement on the chain. Uh, obviously, this one's a little bit out of spec. We need to tighten that up. Uh, for the tailings drive belt, we uh, have an adjuster here. We want to make sure that that washer, like we said before, to be at this second uh, step here on that gauge and uh, make sure that it doesn't get past the tip of that gauge, uh, keep that adjusted. On the clean grain elevator chain, we want a little bit of movement here, side to side, but we do not want to be able to pull it away from this sprocket. Uh, on this would be the same for the tailings elevator chain as well. To adjust that, we want to push or pull this bolt after we loosen up these four bearing uh, carrier blocks, bolts, to move that up and down to adjust the tension on that chain. Same with the tailings here, with these four bolts and this bolt here. On the clean grain elevator, when adjusting or taking the half links out, there is a spot in between the paddles where it's a little wider. Do not break the chain there. That is for the recalibration on the mass flow sensor. Uh, we want to take and make sure that we pull the half links out on the opposite side of the chain so everything will be reading correctly with our yield and uh, um, not to get the belt too short to throw off that reading. For the clean grain elevator belt located here on the inside of the elevator, we have the this adjustment for it also. It's got the same gauge with the washer and the step. We want it to be up next to that step. If we get above the tip of that gauge, we want to adjust it up. On the paddle condition for the clean grain and the tailings we want to make sure that there's the mount that mounts this to the chain is not cracked on the back side here also want to make sure that these are not torn out uh, too bad to uh, cause us not to be able to move grain like we want to